Hi folks, this is a VR to the Markwood Men's Breakfast Club who asked what room would you like to be able to listen into. But first the housekeeping. I'm smoking my beloved Cobbets of the Shire and in it I've got Stonehenge Flake. The idea of which room would we like to be able to listen into? You know, there are big rooms like the rooms in the White House or in the English Parliament, you know, the Cabinet Room or something like that. And the temptation is to say one of those. Um, but I'd like, to I'd like to listen into the Governor of the Bank of England's office in the hope that I'd be able to pick up some tips on investment or a way to make money through things that are going on. I think technically it would be insider trading, you know, having a bit of information that nobody else has got. Um, I mean, from the simplest, you could put bets on when they're next going to raise interest rates and how much they're going to raise it by. That kind of thing, and and when you know, or you might hear of a company going bust, or a company that's going to be a great success. So that's that's what I would do. There was a question yesterday as well, which I missed, about what age would you like to be, if you could stay at that age for the rest of your life. And I noticed that Marx would have chose an age where he, he was still in the peak of fitness, but was old enough to know all the things that he he had now and be and was now. But I'd like to stay the age I am. I think I'm sixty eight, I don't know, my memory's not that good. That's where I probably want to stage the age I am. Because I'm at the happiest I've ever been in my life no matter what seems to be going on in the background and around life around me, there seems to be a great sense of stability and peace at the moment. And that's very refreshing for me. So I'd like to stay this age. Of course, there are some medical things that I'd like to um, get rid of. I mean, if I could be in the peak of physical fitness, that would be great. But even with all the sorts of medical problems I've got, I'd still like to stay, be the age I am, I think. Um, a very happy bear at the moment. So that's my responses to that. Um, I'm going to bring back the jokes because I've had a lot of people sort of disappointed that there's no joke, joke at the end of the um, videos anymore. Um, a guy walks into the bar... And he's surprised, to see, orders a drink, and he's surprised to see that there's some pieces of meat nailed to the ceiling. And he thinks, I wonder what all that's about, these pieces of meat nailed to the ceiling. And he, he's looking at them and he thinks, hmm, fantastic, I wonder what it is. So he says to the barman, you know, that meat up there looks fairly fresh. Um, is what, what, what's the whole idea of it? And the barman says to him, oh, well, if you can jump up and grab a piece of meat in your mouth and bring it down, you could drink here all night without paying anything. And we'll, we'll cook the meat for you and you can eat it. <coughs> so the man sort of thinks about it for a bit and looks up and he shakes his head and he says, no, I don't think so. The stakes are too high. <laughs>